The Local Show, featuring conversations with business owners, employees, and local business leaders about their successes, challenges, and reasons for doing business. Right here in Central New York, The Local Show is locally produced by Zoe Advertising. Now your hosts, Tom and Steve. It's The Local Show with Tom and Steve, and you found it. Uh, Maybe you swam your way over to us uh, because of all the rain that's been happening. It's been squishy out there. It's been squishy, but the the creeks and the Did you go fishing at all since all this rain? Yeah, a little bit here and there. Um, Have you noticed the higher water levels, or is it just normal? No, I I really haven't. Um, This is the way it used to be when we were a little younger. I mean, we've had a couple of dry springs. Yeah, but, I mean, uh, it's um, after it rains, it comes quick and it goes right back down. Yeah, sure. But, uh, yeah, I was fishing uh, last week and, and caught something. It's caught a bunch of fish, nothing special. Okay. And um, but uh, still, still working on getting out more. I started to golf, Tom. You know. Uh, yeah, oh yes, yeah, so, that's good. So I'm sure uh, the golfed at our, with our friends out at uh, Drummond's last week. Oh, did you? You made it out there, huh? What, I, what an amazing place. Yeah, I, that's something. You know, you and I remember from the day, or yeah. at least I do way back, boy, they renovated in there. They were set up to do some big banquets and stuff. Beautiful, I was huh? really, really impressed. impressed yeah. And we stopped and had uh, some chicken wings. Oh, uh, good. John oh, Murphy. Uh, St. Yes. Howard. John and I, we yes. played golf. <clears> and, um, good. No one would, we wouldn't get recruited for the uh, PGA. The no. Day we, but that course is, is tough. But what, Tell me a little bit about John's business really quickly because we got to get yeah, to the next Yeah, Safe guest. Harbor Wills and Trust. Uh, hey, they just did some workshops. I think they had like 60 uh, people registered for Fill it last they week. They always sell out. Uh, uh, and it's free, you <laughs> it's know. It's free. But um, they're just helping people uh, protect what they've uh, worked mm, hard yes. to earn. Uh, if you haven't updated your stuff, update your stuff. If you haven't protected your stuff, protect your stuff. If you don't do it, you didn't do it. So uh, 370-9977. Um, and you can just ask them questions. Uh, yeah. 370-9977. Uh, you can go to safeharborwillsandtrust.com and they'll they'll take care of you there too. Excellent. All right. It's our pleasure to bring on a new guest to the show. His name is Emerson Shenandoah. He's the director of the Scano Center. How are you? I'm doing well. Uh, thank you, Tom. Yeah, good to have you here. So I grew up um, you know, on the borderline of uh, Nedro, right where Green Hills Farms is. Yeah. So I had a lot of friends that were up on the res, and I uh, used to go up there a lot to play lacrosse when I was younger. You played um, lacrosse? Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, the different type of lacrosse, though, I like I like box lacrosse. I was uh, yeah. very much into that. Season started. We're having some games up there with the, Excellent. the Red Hawks. Yeah. And um, did do you know the, uh, the doctors? I was uh, friends with Craig Doctor. Yep, I know the doctors. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, pretty well. Big family. Yeah. yeah. And uh, yeah, all that. Uh, you great. played lacrosse. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. I just, <laughs> this, is, this is just a shocker for me. <clears throat> and that's real lacrosse. There's this baby stuff on I, the field. I, so uh, back four or five years ago, didn't they have a big tournament down there, like an international lacrosse tournament or something? Uh, yeah. In 2016, I believe they had the World Box Lacrosse Games uh, okay. held on the Onondaga Nation. Oh, right. that's wonderful. Yeah. And now, are you any relation to uh, Benny Shenandoah? And the, the, they used to have the big uh, salvage yard up there? Um, I think distantly. Okay, yeah, yeah. Just, yeah. That way, I used to get all my car parts up there. <laughs> nice, <laughs> so, nice, yeah. yeah, that was awesome. Uh, anyway, so tell us a little bit about a Scano Center, what it means, what the word Scano means, and all that. Yeah, so the Scano Center is a cultural center that talks about uh, the Haudenosaunee people through the lens of the Onondaga Nation, uh, and it goes through things such as our influence in on uh, you know Syracuse around. Um, the United States itself, as mm-hmm. well as, you know, who we are, what our people are, what we're about. Right. Um, and Scano is, uh, means peace. So gotcha. Scano means peace. And it, um, the great law of peace is something that uh, we talk a lot about at the center. Uh, it's something that's, you know, um, you can't really talk about it. Or you can't really talk about the Onondaga people if you don't talk about, you know, the great law of peace. That's excellent. What is the um, Chihutni and Dakwa? What does that mean? Chihutni and Dakwa? Uh, it means I believe it means the place where they bump pips, uh, oh, place, right. or the, the place where they play games. The place where they play games. Okay, yeah, yeah. and that that's what that center up on uh, outside of Nedro is called, right? Yeah, that's the Nation Arena. Yeah. Okay, the, the Nation. Arena. So, what is inside that arena? I've driven by it, never been. Oh, it's what, wonderful. What, I've never been there. What is that? The ice rink. Yeah, it's the ice rink turned into a box across <clears> rink in the summer. Uh, we've got some nice turf we put down. We also do events there. Yeah, um, it's it's large. Yeah. Hey, they got a big sound yeah. set system in there. Yeah, nice. Okay. I've gone by probably hundreds of times and didn't know exactly what was going on. And a lot of cars, a lot of traffic. So that's used for, uh, it's a recreational center pretty yeah. much. 
Yeah. Okay. So you talked a little bit about, uh, you, you mentioned the name Haudenosaunee, and w- how does that, um, what is the story? What is the the uh, story behind that and how it influenced this area? The Great Love Peace? Yeah. Uh, yeah, so a quick run- rundown of the story is that um, a long time ago, uh, before, um, you know, contact with settlers. Uh, we had already been here. We'd been living here for thousands of years. And uh, um, after a while, we'd kind of forgot our instructions. And so uh, us, the Onondagas, the Senecas, the Oneidas, the Cayugas, the Mohawks, okay, uh, we were warring with one another. Uh, you know, no, not many people were dying a natural death. And so uh, our creator, he sent down this messenger uh, to come and tell us about how to live, how to live peacefully with one another. Um, and so he came through. Uh, and he went through all the different nations and ended in Onondaga. And right on Onondaga Lake is where we all, um, you know, agreed to this great law of peace. We uh, uprooted a great white pine and all the members of the nations threw their weapons into a spring underneath the tree. And that was to symbolize, you know, that we were going to, you know, forget our warring ways with one another so that we could live peacefully. Hmm. And has that worked out throughout the years? I mean, I don't hear about wars. Yeah. <laughs> so far, <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. Let's hope that continues, right? Yeah. <laughs> That's something else. So the, the word Onondaga, was that in play um, before the settlers came? Yes. So okay. Onondaga, it means uh, people of the hills. And so Onondaga oh. itself, Onondaga, Kanatakwenioke, is uh, the central fire. Uh, we are like the I guess you could say the capital of uh, the Haudenosaunee con- uh, Confederacy. I see. And I, I didn't hear you mention the Oneidas in there. Oh. Are they separate? From I should have the- mentioned them, yeah. Oh, no. oh okay. <laughs> no, that's all the same. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I, d- I didn't know. I, I remember uh, uh, fifth grade yes. studying uh, Yeah, the that's history. when you start to learn that yeah. stuff, yeah. And I remember that, and it was um, it was interesting but confusing, right? Because it wasn't my culture. It was like, oh, what is this? And where? wait, it's here? This actually happened here because so much yeah. history is right. somewhere else. Um, but I found it uh, I found it really interesting. But so back when uh, Tom was a kid, a long time ago, <laughs> you know, they called it the French Fort. What the heck was that about? Uh, so that was actually St. Marie among the Iroquois. It's what we used to be called at uh, the Scano Center. And it was kind of uh, more focused on the Jesuits and um, their history here in Syracuse. Okay, uh, but that's not really the history that we're aiming to, you know, talk mm-hmm. about. A lot of um, right. that history is a little bit convoluted, and you know, not really. Uh, it wasn't really the longest stint either that they were here. They were only here for a couple of years before they left and went back up north. Okay, oh, I see. Okay, so so uh, maybe what it is now represents a bigger time period in more history. Is that a fair way to put it? Uh, I guess I would say yeah, it represents a bigger time period. It also repre- uh, is a better representation of the Haudenosaunee people. Okay. Are people allowed to visit that center? If so, when and how and what will they see? Yes. So uh, we are open every Wednesday to Saturday, 10 to 4, Saturdays 11 to 4. Um, They can come to the center and they can see uh, different exhibits on, you know, uh, the fort will be there. They can have different exhibits on, uh, you know, who we are as a people, uh, our creation story, our culture, a little bit about what happened during contact, um, after contact, and as well as, you know, um, some cool artifacts and things will be there that you can look and touch at. That's wonderful. Okay, so you can bring the kids or yeah. maybe old guys like Tom or yeah. me. All ages. <laughs> All <laughs> ages, Tom. <laughs> Very nice. Well, we should uh, do that and uh, check that out. I, I really love the culture. It's awesome. So thank you, uh, Emerson Shenandoah right there. And, and you're probably over there, right? Uh, so the people can have access to you. Say yeah. hello. Yes, I'll okay. be over there every day. Get great. Say hello to Emerson over there, director of the Scano Center. And thank you very much for what you do. And um, thank you for being here. All right. Thank you, Tom. All right. Coming up next, we're going to talk with John Kupperman. He's the owner of Smith Restaurant Supply right here on the local show on 570 WSYR.